moments away from the start of game number three of this best of seven semi-final series. Obviously, momentum on the side of uh, Barangay Ginebra. As we uh, check our uh, starters here, you have L.A. Mark, Greg Japet, and Mac Mac Barakael for Ginebra, P.J. James, Long Tall, Rafi Rivas, King, and J.D.D. for Sadly Coffee. And bro, I know that you want to point out that Rivas is part of the starting unit than the uh, mixers. And, and it's that big starting unit that has worked for them. Although it is Rafi Rebus, usually it is Yancy Del Campo, but it goes back to that starting unit in which they have James and PJ, in which we can see an advantage, especially with PJ on LA. Rebus, Sakuragi against Mark Kagiwa. Sakuragi with a height advantage. And naturally, he'll post up Kagiwa, and he scores the first basket of the ball game. It is a much bigger team right now when you have this lineup. In game number two, what they did was they took out Yancy Del Campo and put in Mark Baroja, a much smaller team, which was really taken advantage of by that guy right there, Greg the Slaughter. Slaughter being hounded by Rivas. Pass up on the LA. Shock lock down to seven. LA to three. And now he never misses their first two three-point attempts. DJ. DJ has been consistent for uh, Sandy Coffee in the series. Simon. And now Pingris against Chapit Aguilar. Shot clock down to eight. Anogagu in the Mark Pingris. Goes inside. Jump. Oh, got it. Mark Pingris came in very early. Really worked on his handles and his dribbling. And you can see he's very patient at the post. You know, you come in early, you've like, you got a better mindset. Mark Pingris really reaping the rewards of coming in early today. Speaking of early, I've got some fourth of nothing blitz from Sadi Kofi as Japet sends it to Greg. And followed with a kick. Shot too strong and there's Barakel and he puts in Nebra on the scoreboard. You can't do that with Barakel. Can't sit on the three-point line. A lot of people are going to help, especially the big men of Sadi Kofi. So he needs to move on to Riva. Good job on his part. Rivas. Pass to JDV. And Joe will miss. L.A. Tenorio. It was left open. Rebound for James. Yep, two-point lead for the Super Coffee Mixers. James, yep. Big difference in game number two. Jason. Malamig yung sabi ko Coffee when the game started in game number two. But one thing that they're doing the same as it is, as in game number two is they're hitting a lot of the shots. Nico, dun pando sa paint within that colored region. And they're one of the best teams in terms of that mid-range jump shot or short jump shot. Go, go for uh, Japit Aguilar. And it's still a four-point game para sa Sandy Coffee. Nearly three minutes having gone by. It was an opening quarter. Rivas face to face with Slaughter. Simon. Got a nice pick from uh, Rivas. But uh, Pink is getting the offensive rebound and a new shot clock. Very different than the coffee team today. But okay, he never has got to match their energy here. And early here in Game 3, the man of the moment has been Mark Pingris. In games of Snug Big Coffee, there's usually one barometer. Pagdating sa energy, and it has always been Mark Pingris. So far today, Mark Pingris already with 6 points, 3 out of 3 from the field. So bonus free throw for uh, Mark Pingris. Dapit Aguilar with a foul. And with 8 and 53 to go in the opening quarter, Lamang ang Sande Coffee 9 to 2. Pula sa Mall of Asia Arena, nagbabalik po ang inyong PBA. It was a bad start that turned out to be a bad game. Ganyan sinamaray ni Coach Tim Cohn ang game number 2. Ang swerte lang daw nila kahit natambakan sila, eh isang panalo lang ang biligay nun sa Barangay Ginebra. Ang sabi niya, it is not how bad you lose but how you recover from that loss, how you learn from it that will define them. Samantala ang Barangay Ginebra, implement Gulf with the Gulat. Then ang utos si Coach Ato Agustin. They want to start this game with the same aggressiveness that they did in game number two. Nico? Wow, the dreaded uh, GDG. <laughs> Gulf with the Gulat. So far not working. One of the things that is different that you see an aggressive move by Zapos. You know, ang isang din na napupuntahan ngayon, nagpinuntahan nila ng game number two. Speaking of Parangay Ginebra, no touches so far para kay Greg Slaughter, unlike in game number two wherein they went to him early and often. 
Japheth, I mean, he's got it very good looks. Just wouldn't drop it. Ramir and Chuck with free throws. Off the first personal foul, he enjoyed the bats. And for Barangay Ginebra fans, there's one guy in the team that is actually due for a big game, and it's Japheth Aguilar. He's averaging 19 points for the season, only 10 points in the, in the series so far, so he's due for a big game. Check out the Gila showdown between Japet Aguilar and Mark Pingris. So far, Mark Pingris, that's about his average. Rebounds a bit down for Japet Aguilar. Points and blocks down. Down, cut in half on points and blocks down. Only a third is what he's showing here so far. Talk about struggling. Japet uh, could not cut down the Sandy Coffee lead. And the ball will stay with the mixers. With over seven minutes remaining, dito sa opening quarter. PJ starts to play. Rivas trying to locate James Yap. Shot clock down to nine. Instead, they go to PJ Simon. Shot clock down to five. PJ fires one hander. Offensive rebound for uh, the Mixers, and that has been a big strength for them. Simon against Tenorio. Take by PJ, he has nowhere to go, the steal by Paragayel. Back Paragayel on the move, Paragayel all the way, no go! Rebound, Kagiwa, over to Greg Slaughter, got it! Liga starts out with good defense, gotta give it dito kay Mac Paragayel, good effort on his part to get that loose ball, and after that, Good effort on the part of Mark Kagiwa, and then first touch para kay Slaughter, basket right away. Remember, Greg Slaughter, no one is going to be as tall as him to sa kabilang side para dito sa Sunday Coffee. And in a sense, yung, big, yung uh, good start to Greg to game number two set the tone for uh, Hinebra throughout the game. Uh, in basketball, very uh, so much easier to go inside and out. Meaning, atakin mo na sa loob para lumit ang depensa, para malibre sa labas. Uh, meantime, Tenorio over to Jaffin, Jaffin, no go, rebound, James Yap, Sam McCoff is still ahead, 9-4 in the opening period, and James goes all the way! <laughs> On that side, nakita na natin, no one stopped the basketball para sa Barangay Ginebra, James Yap realizing this goes all the way, first two points para kay James, four points already. Approaching the halfway mark of the opening period, Nebra goes back to Greg Slaughter. Tapakot niya si Rafi Rivas. And Slaughter crushes Rivas aside. Offensive foul against Slaughter. Good defense on the part of Rafi Rivas. Now that's, that's a good move on the part of Greg Slaughter. Maganda lang ang pagbasa ni Rafi. You see Rafi never gives up. Was first in that spot. And you can see Greg trying to make some space using his elbow. Coffee goes to Jordan Evans. Wow, layups galore for the Mixers here in the opening period. Problema don di na kusap yung barangay Hinebra Miko. They went to a 2-3 zone to change things up. The problem was not a lot of them were actually aware that they were going to go to that 2-3 zone up there. We're almost halfway done. Dito sa opening quarter. Sandy Coffee up 13-4. Dito shoot para sa Hinebra. L.A. Guided by Jordan Evans. And now Greg Tax Fingers. Tumulong si P.J. Simonte, Pini Japet, uh, no go, but referee Peter Balaw saw uh, something of this. P.J. Simonte tatawagan ang kanyang first person foul. And that will be the third team foul laban sa Sabi Coffee. And also sending uh, Greg Slaughter to the free throw line. And, and, and for, for the fans at home, I want you to look at one thing that uh, San Mig does after this. Here's our Kawasaki Rousing Fast Break brought to you by Rouser 135 by Kawasaki. Rouse the rider in you. Makita mo yung importansya ni Mark Pingris. He's guarding L.A. Tenorio. And when he's guarding L.A. Tenorio, when either Slaughter or Aguilar sets the screen, they're just willing to switch because of the ability of Mark Pingris to guard anyone on the floor. Go to bats to Pingris outside. P.J. Pointer! 
point shot pati by PLDT Home DSL the number one home run back nagkaibahan niya nakita natin pagpunta ng tono ng barangay Hineva this is the second unit of the of San Mig Coffee which struggles hitting that three point shot this is a unit for San Mig Coffee that can make that three point shot early three point shot dito para kay PJ Simon courtesy of good ball movement This PLDT Home DSL PBA Philippi Cup is presented by the reliable family size connection of PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Oh. Top shooting uh, day so far for Chapit Aguilar. Nice back. Oh, no look pass for Rafferidis. This is a different San Mig Coffee team that we saw in game number two and also a different Barangay Ginebra side. This starting unit unable to show yung pinakita nila nung game number two, yung energy. LA loses the ball. Fingers on the move. It's a three-on-one break. And PJ Simon will score. Another timeout by the Barangay Ginebra. Because you, you look at that play, Nico. Tatlong player buwaba para sa San Mig Coffee. Iisa lamang para sa Barangay Ginebra. Coach Ato looking for a different unit here. Looking for some energy. The energy. Uh, itong San Mig Coffee with an explosive start. Which is the direct opposite of what happened to Joe DeVance in game number two. Yeah, Joe DeVance struggled in game number two. He only had two points. But over, over here today, para dito kay Joe DeVance, he's already had two points so far. But it's also different for him. In game number two, he had to guard Greg Slaughter to start that game. Today, he's more into that mold in which pinasanay siya. Ang binabantay na si Jaco. Puntapo natin si Risa Diaz. Nico Joe Devans hated himself for not being able to play at par in game number two. Ang sabi niya, si siguro doing ko, it won't happen today. He has prepared himself now so that he can prepare everybody. At all throughout the game, si siguro doing daw niyang suot-suot na lagi. Ang kanyang leadership has to make the course. Mama ni Joe Devans, ang nanonood sa atin ng live. We're very much proud, Nico. That's true. Actually, I met Joe's mother kanina. She's on an extended vacation here in Manila. She's based in Texas. At, uh, you know, tatapusin niya yung uh, itong playoffs and then babalik siya ng Amerika. But uh, as of the moment, she's busy cheering for Joe. The last time we, we saw her was actually during the All-Stars when uh, Joe's wife was uh, actually just gave birth. Quite a the difference there if you caught it on, on your screen, yung uh, scoring has hit the pace. For Barangay Ginebra, only four points. Kapila naman, 16. Yan, yan ang putihing uh, nanay ni Joe. Eh, sabi ko, tinanong ko ka, sa'yo mo, Tiga, alam mo, yung anak mo, eh, kumakatayan sa radyo. <laughs> Nagsasayaw pag ini-interview sa TV, kumakata pag nasa radyo. Okay, be a liberal lover, we liberate the liberal capsule. It's liberal lover, boy. What a start, bro. What a start for Sandy Coffee. Up 21-6. Yeah, for Barangay Hinebra. Now you have some veterans on the floor. You put in CJ Helper Brand. We're hoping maybe you fell things down a bit. Ellis. To chop it. Chop it. Alam mo, maganda yung mga tira na napupunta para kay Japheth. The opportunities are there. Just able, not able to consummate the majority of them. Isang bagay yung magkaroon ka ng maraming pagkakataon. Iba din yung makarami ka ng butos. <laughs> minsan, nga, minsan nga, binibigyan ka talaga ng pagkakataon ng kalaban. <laughs> <laughs> eh, kasi hindi ka naman talaga pumuputos. <laughs> Once again, you're speaking some experience. <laughs> wow, 21-8. Uh, Japet uh, scoring uh, both, uh, on both free throws. Under four minutes in the main end, it is a opening quarter. It's been all Sandy Coffee. Vengeance in their hearts after uh, losing so big in the game number two. Baroka pulling up. Baroka, that's good. Yeah. Send me coffee, the master of the one-handed shot. From James Yap, yeah, Mark Baroka to PJ Simone. To Ping Gris also. To Ping Gris. Never looking for a way to get out of this lethargic start. Twin Towers trying to bring their team back in the game. 
Greg Slaughter goes to the line. Foul on Pingris. Ah, check that. Revis. First personal lap on Kay Revis. Penalty na ang uh, Sandig Super Coffee Mixers. And once again, two free throws for Slaughter. But a bit of a good sign for mm -hmm. Trey Nedra. Nakikita natin ang lumalaban na sila sa rebound after being just outplayed in, the, in terms of rebound to start the game. The most watched sporting event in the world and the highest rating TV show in US history is here on TV5, the Super Bowl. That's tomorrow, 7.30 in the morning. One out of two para kay uh, Greg Slaughter. Sanding Coffee 23-9. As we approach the last three minutes of the opening quarter, Dylan Ababu, Pinanga, uh, see uh, James Yap on that move to the basket. First person on Laban Day, uh, Dylan Ababu. Now the 14th foul, Laban sa Hinebra. James. Rebound for Greg Zilla. Ellis, JJ. That's the brand coming off the bench. Pass up by Greg. And referee Dax Takanai saying that uh, Revis. And you know what? Can Revis see uh, Slaughter? Second personal against Revis. I'm thinking that the tao dito. The uh, process of maturity, the Greg, and the Chapin. You know, because these, these two guys, this is the future. They are the future of Barangay Hinebra. And luckily, on their very first conference, I mean, speaking of Greg's daughter, the future is here already. Because they are already in the semi-finals. And they're playing uh, as good as best player can of the conference candidates. <laughs> Better watch out because slowly but surely through the free throw line, Barangay Hinebra starting to creep into this game. That's eight free throws already para sa Hinebra. Actually, after the call was made, si Coach Tim Cole was visibly upset. Because Hinebra gradually climbing back in this. Although it's still a 10-point lead for the Mixers as we approach the last two minutes of the opening quarter. Mark Baroka against Helter Brand. Baroka looking at Yatsi and says, okay, I'll take it and I'll make it. Yeah, that one-handed shot. I, I don't know what they do in practice, but BJ Simon, Mark Baroka, James Yap, as well as Mark Ping, once they, once they get into that thing, that shot hits in such a high percentage. A 12 point lead for uh, Sandy Coffee. Six to shoot for Hinebra. Helter Brand gets away, but covered by Pingris and Rachel Pippen for Greg Slaughter. You know, pag yung guard umabot to sa gitna and is able to force the defense to react, it's almost as good as setting up your big men. Because your big men have a free offensive rebound. Rebound that time to Greg Slaughter. Well, a 10 point game for the Mixers. Under two minutes to go, James Yak for three. Rebound, Chapin Aguilar. Helter Brand could be asking for the ball. Nice a minute na lang ang nalalabi dito. Chapin, Greg wants it. Slaughter, Lapan kay Yancey. Greg Zilla gets the big slow. And Greg goes in. Pasa muna sa labas. Reposted, Greg. Double team on Slaughter. Shot clock winding down. Further shot, Chapin. And that ball ends up with Yancey Deo Campo. Maroka, a shot against the top defense of Ellis. Slaughter, on the move, one more try! Guess what? He's actually having a better first quarter. Guess what the first quarter? Yeah, no game number two. Already with 13 points to Greg Slaughter. I'm winding down because of opening quarter. In the midst of what seems to be a he never run. And PJ won't go. Drop it for the rebound. Oh! Threw it away. Oh, well, that, that's all on Drop it. There's no reason to actually outlet it to Greg because Greg's not going to be the one na magbababa ng bola. You've got to find your point guard and make sure you get that ball right to the chest of your point guard. 
5.5 seconds remaining in the quarter. Yancey 50 quarter, no go. And that ends the opening quarter. A big quarter for uh, Sandvik Coffee despite a late run by Barangay Ginebra. At the end of the first uh, 12 minutes, Sandvik Coffee on top 25-17 here in game number three. Arena, nagbabalik po ang inyong PBA. Bisita natin, Mr. Ogi Alcacid. Sir, ilang araw na lang Valentine's na. May inihanda po kayo para sa amin? Wala eh. Wala? Hindi, <laughs> meron. Meron akong concert sa Music Museum. 5.30, 14.15. Yun nga lang. Yung title ng concert ko, samahan ng mga walang ka-Valentine. So, medyo kakaiba to. Dun sa mga taong walang ka-Valentine, punta buhay sa Music Museum, Feb 13, 14, 15. Get your tickets at SM Ticket. Get your tickets also at the Music Museum at uh, sa Ticket World. Tatlong araw po yun. Baka sakali, eh, makahanap na sila ng Valentine nila dun sa concert ninyo. Si Namiko po, may naisi tanong sa inyo. Ano yun, Miko? Hi, Boss, Boss Ogi. Yes, sir. Boss Ogi, alam ko kasi nung araw, eh, ano, Toyota fan ka eh, di ba? <laughs> Jaworski fan ka, di ba? Naman. Eh, oh, ikaw ba nagsig-chill ngayon para dito sa Hinebra? Eh, siyempre, talk and text ako, pero... Gusto mo yung sagot ko? Tama, tama rin. Mahay si Linya, maayos. Mahay si Linya. Talk and text tayo. Pero sa ngayon, hindi ko alam eh. Matindi laban. Mahirap pumili, ano? Mahirap pumili. And I also know that si, you know, Ogi... Loves playing, uh, although you're more, more of a golfer now, pero every time you can, naglalaro ka ng basketball, di ba? Oo, uh, maybe pamisan-misan nakakadunk din. <laughs> di ba, di ba, pato ko yung dalawang pitch. Oh. Oh, di ba, di ba, so, pag tayo nagsama, pwede na tayong makadunk, tayo dalawa. Iyon, eh, iyon, eh, patong tayo. <laughs> Maraming salamat, and enjoy the game. Yes, sir. God bless. Thank you. Of course, good luck with the uh, the big concert. Yes. Yeah. 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 Walang Valentine's Day. Oo. Oh. Samahan ng walang Valentine's Day. By the way, yan ang uring na dati ninyo. Oo. Boss si Ogi na po. Boss Ogi al taxi in the house. In the meantime, a minute going by. Dito sa second quarter. Oh, Barok na gets away. Pero hinapol ni Jappin. But there's Bakers taking care of business. And allows us this opportunity to assess Jason yung nangyari sa opening court. Let's look at it from a fan standpoint. If, if you're a Sunday Coffee fan, you'd be very happy with the way your team started coming out of that, you know, the, 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 yung nakita natin sa game number two, kung tansan talaga natambakan sila ng Barangay Ginebra. But then, if you're a Ginebra fan, you'll be happy also because of the comeback that you saw from your team. Down big at this game, but able to fight back, especially with that second unit team. But here's a concern. If you're Hinebra, zero assists so far in this game in that first quarter. In other words, eh, sariling sikap, sariling sikap. Most of those points really, yung galing sa sariling sikap ni Greg Slaughter. Chris Ellis, his first personal foul. Nebra starting to do much better in terms of rebounding compared to the start of this game where they thoroughly out-rebounded by San Mikofi. Maroka matched up against Emma Montfort who just checked in the ball game and as expected, uh, Maroka wants to take advantage. No go on the uh, back shot. Montfort, Chaka Tagilad, JJ Helterbrand, Billy Mamaril, and Mac Barakel on the floor para sa Hinebra. Here's Barakel. Goes back to Chaka. Just in one of the time at home. Pero sabi ni Sakuragi, no, I will not let you jam that ball in. Now that is going to cost him, though, pangalawang personal foul. He marked Pingris, but his slightly aggressiveness si Jappin Aguilar. A bit of frustration dahil hindi karamihan sa mga tira niya pumapasok sa araw na to. So he went hard, and he's rewarded by going back to the free throw line. I'm also pretty certain he's looking at his numbers for the series, and he's not going to be a happy man. Jappin, 
We're talking about one of, one of the BBC candidates. Yes, yes. Arisa Diaz, what do you have for us? Nicole, my secret weapon itong Barangay Ginebra. And that is their G unit, o yung second stringers, headed by JJ Halterbrand. Membro niyan, si Chris Elias, JR Reyes, Billy Bamaril, pati na si Eman Monfort. Ang sabi ni Coach ito, he can never be more proud than these guys. Eh, ito daw yung naghahanda sa kanyang starters para sa Vera. Pag pinasok mo na niya, eh nagdi-deliver din daw. At sa haba nga ng serye natin, importante, importante, yung lalim mo dyan. Dito? Three, brought to you by KLDB Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Two points out, working five, expressing coffee, so far, from everyone else. Game number two, that was one of their weaknesses, but now today, they made two out of three. Shot clock now to ten, para sa Ginebra. Marakel wants that ball against uh, Mignari, but instead... Brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. And Ellie got a fairly early rest because his starting unit did not do well. Had some time to reassess, came back here in the second quarter. Pahinga, pahinga na. And Monfort, uh, really sticking closely with uh, Mark Barocca, which I can only describe as clingy. <laughs> clingy defense. <laughs> Valentine's Day. <laughs> Parang ano lang yan. Significant na ito. Back up now to 8. And Parang ang gets away. And there's a push. Look how Evan Monfort's actually going at here. Parang ano lang. Papakita niya na. Uy, pag-BBA na ako. Mama na. Hindi ko alam at nalipat yung voting ni Greg kay ano eh. Kay Eman eh. Aliari. Alone. And Asha down. A good screen on the part of the rookie Ian Sangala to free up Aliari. So a 10-point lead for the next race, 32-22. Still in the early moments of the second quarter. LA goes up over Pickett. Oh no! Still for the rebound, and Barakel had it. Oh, teka. Baroka, napamaan pa. Roca and Barakel, who used to be teammates, by the way. Let's see what happened. Yeah, Barakel is right in the middle of this. And then he has the ball. And then he gets sandwiched. And you know, my, uh, you know, my, see, uh, Mark said to Mark, what's up, Mark? You're not going to be a good guy. <laughs> so we have a double technical foul on Mark Barakael and Mark Baroka. And if somehow we get to combine the two, it's going to be Barakael. <laughs> As LA sends it to Greg, Sakak reads 16. Slaughter against Sakaraku. And again, Slaughter goes back to the free throw line. He's been a problem. Para dito sa Sunday coffee. He's getting to a spot in which drop step na lang kailangan. And that's why it's become easier para dito kay Greg Slaughter. Liver Lover, Liver Aid, so Liver and Capsule. It's Liver Lover, boy. And Greg has been to the line eight times. And he has made nine out of uh, 11 free throws. And we compare that as a team, but as a Sunday coffee, Sunday coffee's only been to the line to the right. So I meant to say Greg has attempted 11 free throws. Not has been to the line 10 times. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't even try. Yeah, he never is actually, you know, that's where they're actually making a living. So, putong ito, attacking and getting to the free throw line. 17 free throws so far para dito sa barangay Hinebra because of their aggressiveness. And especially the aggressiveness of, the, of their big men. Greg, you know, in, in particular, I mean, in the, nung, nung lumumang yung uh, Sammy Coffin at 26. It was Greg, who, you know, who kept on going inside, who kept on going to the line. In time, PJ Simon, no go. And that rebound goes to Ian Sangalang, and he goes up without the ball. Meron siyang dalawang free throws. 
Oh, Coach Apa is going to be very upset. You know why he's upset? When we see this replay, he has actually good reason to be upset. Greg Slaughter had that rebound, and he felt that there was a push. There's a warning on Ginebra head coach Ato Agustin for uh, continuous complaining. Even Marco Giwa in the ear of referee Edward Aquino right from the front of the Ginebra bench. Ato still, uh, coach Ato still pleading there with referee Edward Aquino. Well, didn't really get a chance to see it, but the you know, push on the part of uh, PJ Simon actually gave that opportunity. Para Ian Sangalang makuha yung rebound. Mudford with a gigantic rebound. Marakayan, Mudford, back back range 13. Tabaril, back to Tenorio, LA with a big LA bullet pass. Marakayan, the corner. Laroca clears the rebound. The Bakarin of Sati Coffee, 32 24, with over seven minutes to go in the first half. Sangalang, Asakay uh, Baroka. And now here's Joe, JDV for three. In and out, rebound, slaughter. And uh, six rebounds for Greg. The offense slowing down deep sa ating uh, second quarter. Especially last couple of trips, not much that we've seen from both sides. Tenorio inside. Well, at least now you can say Ito Ginebra is not just a content shooting from the outside. Both teams actually already, one team already in the penalty, speaking of. Uh, but Barangay Ginebra is actually in the penalty. Tapos ang, uh, ang uh, San Miguel Coffey, very close to the penalty already with four team fouls. That's why this second quarter, bumagal siya. Unlike the opening uh, quarter. Also because of the, the foul situation on both teams. Ibang iba na yung ano, complexion. No? The second quarter compared to the opening quarter. The opening quarter, basically, that was all sadly caught. And a lot of running that we saw and a lot of uh, all things really close. Maroka fires, can't get the bounce. And he's hitting him up. Laban kay Eman Monfort. Third person na laban kay uh, Monfort. May penalty na ang uh, Hinebra. So two free throws for Mark Baroka. Mark Baroka, the hero of game number one. He had a uh, spinning shot to uh, basically win the game. And point guard matchup here between LA and Mark. Uh, LA Tenorio, that's just huge numbers on his part. But Mark Baroka, although it's not a bad thing, one thing that he also does is that uh, his defense, that is really a game changer. L.A. Pasa kay Monfort. They swing it to Barakael. Barakael goes baseline. Next time move in the left. Mark Barakael doing a lot of good things. Getting offensive rebounds. Also able to drive there to the basket. He can't settle for that outside shot with that zone of San Diego. Second quarter for Eman Monfort to commit his fourth personal foul. Well, talaga po po siya ni Mark Baroka as long as sila yung matchup. Credit also Mark Baroka being able to get to the spot without being called for that offensive foul. Here's our Photon Tornado Drive brought to you by Photon. Empower your business. So one thing that, that this also does, but what I'm telling you, bro. Yung real time mas mahaba ngayon. So all these guys, like Japet Aguilar, he came out here in the second quarter. Pero dahil sa dami ng fouls, he can come back at the six minute mark, but was able to rest in real time for a good ten minutes or so. And so Japet, Greg, LA, Barakael, and Kagiwa also checking back in. LA looking for uh, Kagiwa against Baroka. Back to LA to three. Go, go. One rebound for Mark Baroka. Here's Paragayel for three. Yes! 
Brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. One of the hardest things to defend, right? Right after an offensive rebound, getting to the three-point line and defending a three-point shooter. This is just a five-point game. Eight to shoot. The bats. Baroga looks at the clock. Three to shoot. And offensive foul on Joe DeVance. Uh, that's actually good. You don't need a towel, man. Natulak, dahil natulak. Joe DeVance actually pushed by back. Toto, <laughs> Tommy, no effect there. Yeah, okay. Where's that shot? Back, Baragel fires a three. Yes, sir. And Inebra fighting back here down by five. More than halfway done, this is the second quarter. And if the first quarter was predominantly San Nicosi dominated that quarter, they led at 1.26, led by as many as 15 points. Here in the second quarter, with the actions uh, slowing to a crawl yes. because of the fouls, and bago ngayon yung complexion, and now Hinebra with an opportunity to really get back in this. In fact, already back in this, not by just five points. Get your official license PBA merchandise from stores nationwide so the official license of PBA replica jerseys. I'm talking about adjustments because in game number one what we saw in the whole team is they actually played a lot of second units, full second units on the floor. And in game number two, Branca Hineba taking full advantage of that and Greg Slaughter scores again. He never took advantage. Muntumasok in second unit from San Mikofi. Here in game number three, we have yet to see on either side na meron ka makikita din mga second unit na nagsasabay-sabay. Meantime, already 17 points to Greg Zilla and Baroka misses and that rebound ends up with P.J. Simon. It's just a three-point game in favor of the mixers. They're under duress here. Levis needs to pass. Pasakay. Pickers almost loses it. And in fact, he loses it. Tumapak dun sa sideline right in front of the Ginebra bench. Mark Pingas might be his first rest of the game. Ang trabaho ni Pingas, ang hirap. Ang hirap ko sa... Babantayin niya kung sino pinakamagaling sa side. Guard LA, pag nag-switch, babantayin niya either Jappet or Greg. So he gets his rest on the bench. Now, Slaughter has been the man of the moment para sa Hinebra. Already with 17 points. Mark Kavira from the corner! Three-point shot brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband, and we're all tied at 36. Oh, what a fight back para dito sa Barangay Hinebra. It's just really centered on what Greg Slaughter is doing. Rivas, 15 footer. Big shot for Rafi Rivas. And he has four points. Balik ang lamang. Sandy Coffee. Right now, if they go back to Greg Slaughter, hindi na alam ng Sandy Coffee kung ano gagawin nila. Last time, umep to PJ Simon, Mark Kadiwa hit that three-pointer. So what do you do now? How do you defend Greg at the post? Rivas will try. Greg, off balance. It's still an exit. 19 points for Greg Zilla. And he is taking on all the defenders. Sa tinatapod sa kanya ng San Nicosi. And James Jump answers back. And we've got a shootout here towards the end of the second period. Balik na naman ang labang si San Nicosi 40-38. Para kayo. Looking for L.A. Tenorio. Ball goes to Kagiwa and now to LA. Deep left corner. LA loses it. And interesting, interesting that Barangay Hinebra actually changed up their play. They went to a straight post many times and then they changed it up there. PJ. No go. Tapped by uh, Slaughter. Last touch on PJ Simon. 2 and 48 remaining in a pulsating second period. They go back to Greg's daughter on the post on the left side. They run there twice. And Magkasunod, kumuha sila ng punto. They can go back to it. This is when the Gulen Kawaii changed it up. It's the last second to Now they go back to Slaughter. The Slaughter has been a stoppable loss at the moment. Short to shoot. Slaughter and a region, or uh, rather a uh, 
uh, basketball tag. No? Uh, tinulak ni uh, referee ni Sue Slaughter. And that will be the third personal against Sidis. And Sandy Coffey will uh, reach the limit here. And a technical foul on uh, Rafi Rivas for resentment to a call. We don't know what Rafi said. But right now, the defense is He cannot afford to give up three points. Coach Tim Cohn very upset. Wow, First look, look at Coach Tim. A really talking vehemently with referee Edward Aquino. I think for, for yeah, this, yeah. this should be, I think this would be a technical foul. And Tim refuses to, to leave the side of uh, referee Aquino. Wow, Coach Tim is still at it. He's Jeffrey Cariasso trying to restrain Coach Tim. And, 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 and I'll explain why, why Coach Tim is upset. Rafi Rivas was not talking to, to referee Aquino at all. He was actually talking to the referee that called the foul. You can see right here, first of all, we've seen much more contact with this battle. This, this play is actually called by that referee. Peter Balao. Peter Balao. And then Rafi directly spoke to Peter Balao the entire time. Referee Aquino called the technical. They coached him not. You know, kung and this is a close game of something that never turns the ball over with 2 and 23 remaining. Ablatayo 40 all here in uh, game number 3, 2 and 19 to go, the second quarter. Look for a frenzy. And he almost, they're almost getting the steal. PJ Simon can't shoot. Passa James. Missed the layup. Serious battle for the ball. And it's tapped out by James. Yeah. <laughs> right now, Nico. Guys are diving for the loose ball. You can see how important game number three is for both teams. Basically, this is a five-game series, and both of them want to get that first step. The yeah, liberal lover will liberate Zillimer and Capsule. It's liberal lover, boy. This game is so close. To the game. Liberty needs to liberate. <laughs> Shot clock down to eight, and Slaughter will miss. Rebound out of it, James. Yep. Under two minutes to go in the first half. DJ Simon on the excellent pass by Mark Baroja. On, on right there, just poor transition defense on the part of Barangay Hinebra. You gotta be aware, nakatakbo itong uh, San Miguel, especially since they're a smaller team right now compared to you. Gets to shoot para sa Hinebra, down by two. Mark Tagiwa, the chapter. Chapter goes up without the ball. And in Ebra's aggressiveness, oh, yeah. that's not changed. Yeah. 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 Actually, the technical is not going to happen. An outburst by Coach Tim really changed when there was no momentum of Barangay Hinebra because it really didn't uh, have the concentration of the players. First free throw, the pass up for Japan. That started the first halftime game show of the PBA, a Moneyball Dribble of the People. You can download that and register on Moneyball apps. Nyo. At sa mga napag-register na dati, siguro doon updated ang app ninyo. Sa alina, natin dribble sa money ball. Two for two para kay uh, Japit Aguilar and he has a total of four points. You see the difference of strength. Japit Aguilar much better in the pick and roll. Greg Stotter much better when you go straight post. Both of them having success here in this quarter by a going to their strength. One minute remaining to second quarter. Tie ball game at 42. James with a top shot. Norio on the move. And Norio for the lead. Now short. Greg Dippin won't go. Chop it. No. Chop it again. And he runs on top by two. Wow, what a quick wow. counter attack by the mixers. PJ Simon 
immediately ties the game. We're working on strength, but right now Hinebra must malaki na up one offensive rebound, but credit also to Big Coffee because they're smaller, attacked right away on transition. Para mawala ka agad, yun ako ang kalamangan ng Hinebra. 30 second timeout for Hinebra with 31.8 seconds remaining in the second period. I mean, how has this game become so close, uh, Jason? Uh, as opposed to what happened in the opening quarter. It, it's close and it's fun to watch at the moment. Right now, I think both teams have settled down after Hilebra took in yung mga initial punches ng uh, San Miguel Coffee. Dahil gusto gumawi na San Miguel Coffee. They were able to settle down, especially via Greg Slaughter. They, they, they finally got things going and they're going to their strengths, like what I mentioned. Big guys para ngayon, dito sa Barangay Hilebra, San Miguel Coffee working on being quick. And everyone inside the Ball of Asia Arena, and we're packed. Eh, eh lahat eh, talagang uh, sabig na sabig, no? Aga nilang dumating, ang aga nilang uh, pumila. And right now, they're watching a game that is oh so close. Five ball game at 44. And to emphasize my point, size usually, mas sumahingita mo yan doon sa second chance point. Hinebra, lamang na lamang, 15 to 5. 15 points para sa Hinebra, only 5 para sa Sunday Coffee. On the flip side, Sunday Coffee working with quickness right now. The difference in fast break points, Nico, ang laki. 10 points to Sunday Coffee, 0 at the moment para sa Barangay Hinebra. Winner of this game will gain a 2-1 uh, series lead in this best of seven semifinal affair. James Yap and the uh, Mixers had a uh, big 15-point advantage uh, due to their uh, opening blitz no, at the start of this ball game. Pero dahan dahan, bumalik yung Ginebra. They got to the free throw line. They stayed aggressive, and right now may pero sila pagkakatao to regain the lead, but they. Uh, Buff the inbound and Barroca scoots in for two. Uh, for, I'm stuck in front of Barangay Hinebra. You call a timeout, you want to be able to score, you throw the ball away. There's a four second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Tend to shoot para sa Hinebra. Chop it to LA. Shot clock down to seven. What will LA do? Labat kay Barroca. LA. Shot clock down to three. LA fires a three. Wow. <laughs> by PLDP Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Four seconds to go. Hinebra up by one. PJ Simon fires. And Hinebra will grab a one-point lead at the end of the first half, 47-46. You know, Greg Slaughter really been an integral part. Of course, that LA3 gives the lead para dito sa Barangay Hinebra. But Greg Slaughter at the moment, 19-9, and, and we're only in the first half. Greg Slaughter just too big at the moment. Para sa San Miguel Coffee. Even when he's off balance, nakaka-score pa rin si Greg. At the half of game number three, Hinebra lamang by a precarious point, 47-46. Balik ang lamang sa San Miguel Coffee. Just going over the uh, gentlemen on the floor. All on uh, PJ Simon and uh, let's look at some numbers to explain the story of the first half. Quickly, a 21 to 6 run to start the game for San Miguel Coffee, which was really brought about by the number of assists that they have and a very good field goal that they had. Going over to the second quarter, uh, LA Tenorio actually had eight on the strength of two three pointers. I think Tiberecha rebounding second chance points because the size of Inebra goes their way, fast break points going the way of the San Mix Super Coffee mixers because of yung sinasabi natin size na Manila and the quickness that they use. Now, meantime, uh, there was a uh, foul against James Yap, kanyang uh, third personal foul. And that's why Mac Paragel is on the line. So we've seen games number one and two of this series and we have to say, this first half, most entertaining first half yet uh, in the, because it's been a close first half that really went uh, both ways and uh, it's, uh, it's uh, first 24 minutes. It's hard to stop, uh, you end game from game number yeah. one, but uh, you never know. James Yap falling away, no go, rebound, Revis. Samadhi Rivas, JDB, BJ Simon, Mark Pinkris, and James Yap. PJ. Trying to get away from Tenorio, and Simon misses. Ball bouncing uh, towards uh, Mark Pinkris. Cut by Rivas. Rivas with a spin and a miss. 
for Ginebra, Tenorio, Japit Aguilar, Mark Kagiwa, Mark Barakel, and Greg Slaughter had that monster first half. Kagiwa to Japit. Shot clock reaches 10. Ginebra down by one. That ball goes to Japit Aguilar for the layup. Again, it's just good realization going to your strength. Pick and roll with Japet Aguilar, almost unstoppable. To have a guy that with that size and that athleticism going straight at the basket. He is back with Inebra. Chris Pasamo na kay Simon on the right side. Simon lapat kay Tenorio. PJ dancing inside. He needs help. Pasamo na kay Rivas. Shot clock down to two. Rafi Rivas will miss. That's not really a shot, but Frank Pringles again hustles to get the offensive rebound and goes to Rivas and he is fouled by Tenorio. Sunday Coffee doing a number in terms of offensive rebounds. Into some partners. I thought the offensive rebounds. Already three offensive rebounds here. As we send you over to Mr. Pisa Diaz. Nico, para kay Coach Tim Cole, dahil hindi daw nasunod ang kanyang mga manlalaro sa kanilang usapan sa depensa, ang naging kasuta, Greg Slaughter scored that much point, especially in the free throw line, noong first half. Kaya ang sabi niya, again, if we could prevent him from touching the leather, ay mas maganda. May advice din siya para sa kanyang mga manlalaro, pati na rin sa kanyang mga sarili. Well, behave na daw sila. No more complaining. At ang challenge is for them to surpass the calls. Nico? Sini promise na wait na rin. Mayor's bow, you can see. Lahat daw, lahat. Okay. L.A. Tenorio with that trademark reverse. L.A. is actually having a very good game. After napaagay yung upo niya, he's had a solid comeback here. First person in the game, Mac Barakel. There's a technical foul. Wow. Remember, Mac Barakel got a technical earlier when he was in the Mark Barroca. And he gets called for a technical right now for continuous complaining. How big is this? Because what's different now is the rotation of the people, Coach Ato. A stunning development here for Ginebra. Ato Agustin, now uh, pondering kung sino ipapalit niya dito kay Mac Barakel, who is not just gone from the game, but gone from the floor. Yeah, yeah. Ejected after scoring seven points. Also had three rebounds and shot uh, three out of six from the field. So si Ellis ang uh, pampalit dito ni Coach Ato Agustin. Napakalaki. Napakalaking bagay ni Mac Barakel because he's the best matchup at that three spot when Joe Devance plays that small forward. Another thing that he does is he's actually their best three-point shooter. So, yung mga bagay na yun, mawawala para sa Barangay Hinebra in the last part of this game. Now, is that foul by Barakael on P.J. Simon? <laughs> Not really much right there. Actually got the hire of the coaching staff of Barangay Hinebra as well. But Max got to be got to learn what the situation is. Alam mo na may technical ka na kanina. You can't allow yourself to be taken out of this game by, by that, in that case. And P.J. Simon ties the game at 51 apiece. So it's not for a fail out, Nico. You expect Ellis to play a little bit more, a little bit more to Dylan, and maybe a little bit more time for J.J. Helder Van de Sway as well. Pagkakataon para sa mga players na yan to take advantage of the situation. The slaughter continues his solid performance today with 21 points. 21 points already. Already. And 19 to end the first half. 19 and 9 to end the first half. Nine minutes at Itera here in the third quarter. Lamang ang Hinebra, 53-51. Drop pass for Pingris, and Pingris will miss. There's a good in for Rafi Rivas. Isang bagay na kinagawa ng San Mick Coffee very well here in the third quarter. Offensive rebounds. Hinebra's got to do a better job of boxing out all five players of San Mick Coffee. Slaughter, Pasa, Tenorio, takes the three, goes inside the Greg Best game so far of, of uh, Greg Slaughter. 23 points. The lead is back with Inebra, 
Over eight minutes remaining into the third quarter. How will San Nicolopi respond? Takes up on the right side. Pasa kay PJ. Shot clock down to five. Mamadali ang mixers. PJ one-hander. Step in for Samaragi. So that's four straight points out of, out of rebounds para sa San Nicolopi. Again, you have to reiterate. Mas malaki nga yung barangay Hinebra pero they're not putting a body on the rebounders of San Nicolopi. Tight ball game again. 55 all. May ikit pitong minuto na titira dito sa third quarter. Slaughter has been unstoppable. Has been unstoppable. I mean, right now, it, it's parang bigay mo nalang yung bola kay Greg dahil walang solusyon ang San Miguel Coffee kung sa ginagawa ni Greg na yan. 25 points for Slaughter. Lead is back with Inebra. 57-55. James Yak for three. And almost another offensive rebound. So L.A. Tenorio takes care of the rebound for Inebra. L.A. Will they go back to Slaughter? L.A. goes to Japan instead. And Japan will miss, pero meron siyang two free throws. Paul Laban kay Pinkris, his third personal. Yan ang 13th uh, foul against the Mixers. This PLDT Home DSL family size bonding is brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Japan makes it a three-point lead para sa Hinebra, 58-55. This three-point lead is actually Hinebra's biggest lead of the game. Approaching the last seven minutes of the third, Joe Devance against Ellis, advantage JDV. Size and heft, and PJ Simon fires. Yes, sir! That's a three brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. I'd say brought about because na walang si Mac Parakel opportunity para kay Joe Devance pumoste and doing a good job of reading what the defense was giving because of he was able to get that assist. Approaching the halfway mark of the third. Foul laban kay Rivas, pang-apat laban kay Rafi. Fourth team foul laban sa Mixers. Two free throws for Mark the Spark Kagiwa. Ian Sagalang is in the game. Uh, a new Japet steps out. Billy Mamaril uh, in the ball game for Hinebra. And Mark Tagiwa makes it 60-58 in favor of Hinebra. Be a liberal lover with Liberate Zillimer and Capsule. It's liberal lover, boy. Six and a half remaining here in the third. Something like 10 pump fakes from <laughs> Joe Debats. And there he pass. The Pintake Joe. No. Jay. Hand time for Ziggs, yeah. Well, a player in a part of Joe but how much time did Joe DeVance actually stay in the paint? <laughs> Tied ball game at 60. Tenorio against Pingris. Kagiwa, laban kay Simon. Mark Kagiwa goes inside. Right now, para sa Barangay Hinebra, nagiging balansado na yung atake nila. They have got Greg Slaughter working. LA's getting his. Mark Aguiwa's getting his. So their offense right now, working really as a group. Shot down to nine. And uh, hinila ni LA si PJ Simon. This has been a, a, a nice player para kay LA Tenoya that matchup. And it's been like that for the entire series. LA Tenoya that matchup. And it's been like that for the entire series. Five and thirty-six. At itira here in the third, lamang ng dalawa ang barangay Ginebra. Number three, PBA semifinals. May bago pa kay na ulala para sa PBA tropa fans today. Bago ulala tropa pa. So the puso ng aning forty-nine pesos lang available in sisig na stick, sisig na wala stick at hindi niyo pumedo flavors. Masarap pa lamang kay niyan. Ulala tropa pa. Mas sa ulab. Ulala. Di lang pasta ulam. Ulala. There. Sin. Rightly. Properly. Really. 
Tim Cohn and the rest of the mixers trailing by just uh, two points. Now you're talking about PJ Simon and his matchup with LA Tenorio and uh, PJ averaging 16 a game in the series. And, and you know, he's, he's averaging 16 and he's actually shooting very well today. Not so well, maybe 3 out of 11. But we can see for PJ. He knows that he has the advantage because he's bigger than LA and you know, he's taking LA to the post and he's getting good looks. Looks like he will match, maybe even exceed his series average. 13 points, although he missed that free throw. Mamparin ng Ginebra, 62-60. Sam McCoffey, already 16 free throws for them. Ang problema, out of those 16, they already have 7 misses. Mark inside, 2 points. Market double figures with 11. And, and he's having one of those games in which he's allowed the game to come to him. And right now, he's very comfortable when he get ginagawa niya to support. Shot locked out to 10. Para sa mixers, DJ Simon and Quartz. Rebound, Slaughter. 10 rebounds for Greg Slaughter. And there's a foul in the backcourt. Laban kay Joe DeVance. Fourth personal against DeVance. Here's our LBC move of the game brought to you by LBC. We like to move it. That's the uh, Pelita Corrales shot of LA Tenorio. Under five minutes to go in the third. Apa, Takabate ng Ginebra. Arcagiwa against Pingris. The spark takes, fires, no go, rebound, James Yap. And a loose ball foul. Nabat kay Chris Ellis. Second personal against Ellis. Tim Cohn going a little bit deeper into his bench. So far, not a lot of production coming up from his bench. Nothing yet from Ian Sangalang. Nothing yet from Yancy De Ocampo. Alex Magliari only with two points. So this was one of the things that lacking. Looks like game number two. And he needs to get something here from there in game number three. Let's send you over to Riza Diaz. Nico, galing ako sa dugout kung saan ang inyo si Mac Baracayel. At ang sabi niya, not guilty, Your Honor. Talaga lang daw highly emotional yung laro. Gayun pa man, eh, nirirespeto niya yung tawag ng mga officials. Ang sabi niya, hindi muna daw siya mag-shower. He will finish the game in his jersey para kapulad pa rin yung nagdala ng shower. Salaba, Riza. JJ Helderbrand scooting to the basket for his first two points tonight. Lamang ang Ginebra, 66-62. Sangalang, who got away. But uh, lost his balance. Kagiwa against Baroka. Kagiwa against Sangalang. Kagiwa against Pingris. And he loses the ball. So here's that uh, no speed limit backward yeah. in Cohn uh, with Melton and Baroka. Hoping that you know this is actually his best defensive backcourt because they put so much pressure on the opposing side. Locking foul against Billy Mamaril. Second personal against Mamaril. And now Pareho nasa limit na no? uh, in terms of fouls. Um, Sandy Coffey and Barangay Hinebra. And Greg Slaughter gets a breather here. Monster game para kay Greg. Double-double for him. Already a career high para kay Greg Slaughter. Sara, so he's 25 points. Shot clock down to 8 para sa Mixers. Jay Jeff against JJ Helferbrand. Over MVP's going at it. Rebound, Kagiwa. As you mentioned, Elton and uh, Baroga will wreak havoc for Hinebra's ball carriers. Delta Brand. Runner. Nelson sky and high for the rebound. So quick melt over to Coffee Prince. And I'm officially hungry. That's my cup. Ayun na guys. Jack knocked down to 10. Fingers against Japet. Here's Sangalang. Fifty footer. Rebound. Kagiwa. Approaching the last two minutes of the third. Gusto ni Coach Ato Agustin is magplanuan ito ng mabuti with two and three. This is Playoff Basketball by the Bay and we'd like to thank our radio partners 
90.7 Love Radio, 11.1 Yes FM, 96.3 Easy Rock, and DZSR918 Sports Radio. I see a pala, the Chico Reyes and uh, Chalski Escobar. Ang ating radio panel, in other words, tipid. Sa, ano, <laughs> shampoo, parlor, pero... Don't miss a live and exclusive coverage of the Sochi 2014 Winter Olympics. Six days to go. Mapapanood si Muna February 8th. TV 5, Action TV, Hyper, at sa Signal. Foul on uh, Ian Sangalang. Yeah, both teams already in the penalty. Both teams actually not shooting well from the free throw line. Both of them. Actually, sa punto ito, pareho sila. Three out of seven. Maroka. I think there's a good chance that most ball, most balls na babagsak sa ngayon sa sahig, makukuha ni Melton in Maroka. Bilis <laughs> eh. Approaching the last two minutes of the third, tend to shoot para sa mixers. Big Chris against Japet. Minas labas sa kilas. Back, back down to six. Sangda lang. Back to uh, Sakuragi. Eh, Big Chris. Power move. Not enough power. Sangda lang with a rebound. No go! And James Young fighting for that ball. And it goes out, and it will stay with the mixers. We got give credit also to James Yap sa araw na to. James already has nine rebounds, and he's helping out in many other ways aside from his scoring. Well, he wants to score, and he can score on the line. <laughs> Foul Labat Kid Japet, his second personal. Both teams are already in the penalty. Two free throws for James. Carlos Yap. First free throw is good. And be a liver lover with liver aid silver and capsule. It's liver lover, boy. Ellis sits down and Dylan Ababu comes in. And uh, just a reminder for those who are just tuning in, Mac Marquel was ejected earlier because of two technical fouls and thereby affecting the rotation of Inebra. And as you mentioned, we'll see more of Ellis and maybe even more of Dylan Ababu here in the second half. But so far, in terms of Ellis, seems like he's struggling. Maraga with a steal and the layup and we're tied at 66. You know, para kay Coach Ato, he's done the right thing. He puts two point guards just to be sure na may tagababa ng bola. But and there's Melton with a steal. Baroka inside. Two points and the lead is back with a mixer. 68-66. What a turnaround. And again, it's the pressure defense. And they finally get the ball. You gotta give it to your best guard that can bring down the basketball. And they right now has to settle down his team. One minute and 16 to go in the third. LA, shot knocked down to five. Mamadilang Hinebra. LA needs to go here. LA to kill him. Ababo, no go, off the mark. A rebound for uh, Japan. Double team by Baroka and Melton. I'm telling you, no, no basketball is safe. Pag na dyan si Baroka, tsaka si Melton in the immediate vicinity. Shot clock down to 10, under a minute to play in the third. Ginebra down by two. Chapin. L.A. Goes inside. Oh. Oh. Mid-air battle between L.A. and Justin Melton. Look at this. Look at the athleticism. Wow, that was long. Must have got a lot of body contact, but he reached up for that wow. ball. Wow. It's as if you mga fans dito sa Wall of Asia Arena, they're torn. Hindi <laughs> nila san si san nila pupunahin nila yung body contact between LA and Melton or the fact na naabot ni Melton yung layup ni LA and Tenori takes the first free throw. Oh, they're, they're just gonna go. Coach Ato is going. Oh, sige, pabili, pa, paliitan ha. Oh, pabilisan na lang. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they'll put another ball handler just to make sure to match up with San Mikofi. Well, two for two for Tenorio. And so we're all tied up again at 68. 12 points for LA. Under a minute to go in the third. Maroka got away. Oh, a race! Good job, Aguilar! 
And Zappi Aguilar, best shot blocker right now in the PBA. Just able to get to this one. Clean block. On Swing back part. to live action. Baroga to Melton. Melton against Monfort. Melton fires a three. Yes, sir. Brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Uh, he, he just comes in deep as a third quarter, but what an impact on Dina Lani to Justin Melton. And he never can write the last sentence of the third chapter. Here's Helter Brand. Three point guard unit here for the Nebra. Five seconds to go in the third. Helter Brand looks at Monfort. Monfort fires. No, oh, that ends the third. He among on Sandy Coffee. 71 68. And what a third quarter here. Sammy Coffey clinging to a three-point lead. We'll be back with the payoff period. It is a TV5. Of uh, Sammy Coffey when they went to that small guard lineup. Nico, only two points in the last four minutes is Barangay Ginebra. Actually, in those two points, he didn't free throws ni Eli. By the way, that drive by Japet, he lost the ball. He didn't pick that man. Oh, he did. Justin Milton. Now leading to a loose ball foul. Labo came Mark Kagiwa, his second personal. Your thoughts on that uh, frenetic third quarter, Jason? Wow, eight seconds. You have two guards. Why am I not surprised? Sila nagulat rin sila. Okay. <laughs> Wala pala nagpe-pressure. Eh, kasi, eh, kasi balilit yung hakbang eh. <laughs> Inapotuloy. <laughs> anyway, your, your thoughts in the third quarter. You know, in that third quarter, he never actually shot very well for, for most of that quarter. But then all of a sudden, nung nawala si Greg Sauter, naiba. Naiba in dominance nila. Mark Aguiwa played well. But on the side of San Coffee, when they went too small, that really changed the complexion of the game because of they were able to push and get some turnovers and get uh, some uh, layups out of their turnovers. It's James pulling up. No go. Rebound. Barroca. One more rebound for the Mixers and Bigger scores. It's, it's almost a sin for keeping them on the mark for always get rebounds when their guys are 6'9, 7 feet, 6'6 six, six on the floor. But there is Baroka time, he's not giving up. It. Three point game for the Vixers. This is game number three of this best of seven semi final series. Milton with a rebound. Hina Habul Limon for it. Hina Habul Limon for it. And there's a foul. <laughs> 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 No, I'm just waiting for everyone to just clear out. <laughs> Everyone's clear out. Look at this. Let's clear the floor. This is a great rebound. Pero ito, this is Tantantini. Uli na sana kaya lang natisod eh. Natisod si Nelton. Masado kang masaya sa mga nangyayari ha. Nakakapansin ako ha. Meantime, here's Big Riz. Against Chapet, Chuck knocked out to six. And there's Monfort getting in the way. And uh oh, that's all. Monfort stepped on Sakalam. Yeah, slow to get up. Uh, I think the tapakan is Ian Sakalam when he was trying to swipe the ball away. And look at her. <laughs> Never mind the numbers. Yeah. Let's just say their impact is greater than their combined height. And, and uh, we will give you a per square inch. Per square. Sakin yan. Hondos. Right now, I mean, we may be you know, joking around with this, but itong, you, you have to be worried if you're Parangay Hinebra. You're hoping this is not serious para dito kay Eman Monfort because he's one of those guys na nagbibigay ng energy from the bench for you can turn things around, especially when they just really need it. That's a block by Slaughter. Mark Aguiwa on the move. Mark Aguiwa evading the shot-locking prowess of Milton. <laughs> and uh, Sandy Coffey's lead whittled down to one point. Speaking of shot-locking, laking bagay ngayon, nakikita natin shot-locking in the part of Ginebra. A shot block earlier by Slaughter and one uh, much earlier as well from Japan. Maroka. Melton. And from the corner, PJ Simon for three. <laughs> 
Game Shot brought to you by PLDP Home DSL, the number one home broadband. You know, para sa San Mico, si piling pili yung mga three point shots right now. They only took ten, they've only taken ten three pointers, and they've made half of it. Meaning, very selective, making sure that it's a good three pointer. Nine and thirty five remaining in the fourth and final quarter. At may foul na nakita si referee Edward Aquino. Justin Nelson committing a second personal foul. At yan ang uh, unang team foul laban sa mixers here in the court. Get your official license PBA merchandise from Axel Stores Nationwide. Axel, the official licensee of PGA replica jersey. Back to Giwa for three. Short. Barroca with a rebound. He's pushing the ball. Mixers are running. Barroca stops. PJ thought about the three. He lapped it. One-hander, no go. Rebound to Giwa. Counter attack by Hinebra. Mark to LA. LA on the move. LA blocked by Barroca. Well, there's a push. <laughs> I think on Sangalang. No, I think it's going to get melted. Okay, it's against Justin Nelson. <laughs> the shot blockers of San Nicoli. Hindi mo lang malalaki. Yung mga maliliit, yun ang umukalpan. Yeah, it's either Barroca or Melton. They're the rim protectors out there. <laughs> not Yancy, not Revis, not Sangalang. Not, not me. <laughs> it's Melton and Barroca. <laughs> Ian Sangalang steps out. Joe DeVance coming in. Yeah, for Ian Sangalang has not been a good two games for him in today's effort. Again, scored si Sangalang noong last game. Scoreless rin siya. And he's one of those guys na importante sa San Miguel Coffee because they're not getting much production from the bench. Okay, Risa, ano ang condition ni uh, Eman Monfort na Hinebra bench? Nico, wag ka masyado mag-worry kasi oh, right, right ankle sprain lang naman. Okay. Irritate lang at makakabalik. Alam niya yung importansya niya sa game. Kasi nga, wala pa rin si Josh Urbison goes still in the States to visit his ailing mother. Nico? That's right. My prayers huh, for the Urbison, the family. Josh, unable to participate in the series. And of course, on the side ring, will attend to yung kanyang nanay. No? So, prayers for the Urbison, the family. Now, back to the game. Eight to shoot. Para sa Ginebra. Tenorio, shot clock down to four. LA off the pass. Too strong. Rebound, Melton. Oh, that's already four rebounds for Melton for the game. Wow, what a pass. I mean, Melton fooling everyone, including myself. <laughs> and finding uh, Mark Pinkris underneath. Big X factor for today. Justin Melton coming in the second half. And really giving a boost here para sa kanyang team. Still over eight minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Five point game for the Mixers. Now, Slaughter has been very quiet. And just as I said, oh, he missed it. Jop it with a rebound. Jop it, attack, jop it, no go. Elton, Baroka. Baroka, runner is good. Forced to call a timeout is Barangay Hinebra. The energy. You energy number Now whoever wins this game between Inebra and Sandy Coffee will gain a 2-1 to one series edge in this best of seven affair. Here's a runner. And as we have been, we have been mentioning, Sandy Coffee so good at those one-handed shots, those running shots. Baroka and Melton. I mean this backcourt uh, really working wonders for Coach Tim Cohn and in particular Mark Baroka. Uh, you know, so effective on both ends, and he's always been effective on both ends for this entire tournament. Yeah, he, he did struggle in terms of his percentage, only 14% so far as a series at all. But finding his shot here in game number three. There's that backcourt pressure. And LA to uh, chop uh, it, and uh, eight seconds. Yeah. Uh, Risa, Risa, what do you have for us? Nico, yung Justin at Baroka tandem, eh parang twin towers din daw for Coach Tim Cohn. Ang sabi nila, they are not afraid na isabay sila with Jopet and Greg. Dahil kahit maliliit, eh makakatakbot, makakariban daw. Again, it's not about your weakness. It's how you use your strong side that is going to be very effective. Nico? Three-point shot by Joe DeVance. Brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. And it's now a 10-point lead for the Mixers. It's a big bagay in the 3-point shot. Na to. But right now, for Barangay Never, time to be composed. Go back to your strength. Only one shot so far for Greg Slaughter here in the fourth quarter. Slaughter on balance. Rebound, Kagiwa, and put back goes in. See, but even if Greg missed that, and Dami nagpunta sa kanya, Libre Libre si Mark could have been jumping to get that rebound. 
Palos na ang alahati na tayo dito sa fourth and final quarter. Elton has been an X-Factor. CJ takes. That lead is foot. Goes back to Melton. Melton won't shoot. Baroka will shoot. Had to shoot. And missed it. Rebound. Pingris. Pingris. Two fakes over to Melton. But masyadong mababa yung mata. Yes, believe it or not. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it sounds weird. Pati si, pati si Ping na pataw. Oh, na pataw eh. Dahil mababa yung pasa para kay Melton. <laughs> yes, it actually happened. That's a big break. Uh, you know, if you're in Ebra, every break you'll take with both hands. Down by eight as we near the halfway mark of the fourth. Mark Kagiwa wants to post up Justin Milton. Instead, they go to Slaughter. Slaughter gives the ball to Mark. Double team on Kagiwa. Outside to Slaughter. Slaughter shot clock down to three. And off. Billy Mamarin fires. No go. Rebound. Slaughter. And he's out in there by Baroka. That's a reach in against Mark Baroka. So undersized. It's that big coffee. We can compare that to Barangay Ginebra at this point in the game. But they're just doing it with pure hard work. By the way, that was the second personal on Mark Baroka. And that was a 13 foul against the Mixers. So we're more than halfway done here in the payoff period. Tadiwa. You know, wants to use his power against Melton. Rebound, Mamaril, and he'll take two. I give credit right now. Couple of offensive rebounds. Para dito sa Barangay Hinebra. They know the situation. You're down by eight at the moment. You've got to get some points. Billy Mamaril coming off the bench. And he's able to contribute. At least getting an offensive rebound. A chance to get two free throws. And that was the fifth personal foul against Jody Bats. First free throw for Maso. Para kay Billy Mamaril. And check out this number eight assist. Very good one. Brought to you by Liver Aid's Liver and Capsule. Helps protect your liver naturally. Be a liver lover with Liver Aid. One out of two for Billy Mamaril. And uh, again, be a liver lover with Liver Aid's Liver and Capsule. It's Liver Lover, boy. Fingers. Laban kay Mamaril. Shot clock down to eight. Over to Baroka on the left side. Back to Fingers at the post. Fingers over shirts. Another rebound for Slaughter. And Greg now with 13 rebounds. Different match of Kate Pink with Billy Mamaril there. We can have it. Mas may strength to Billy Kanina. Ginagamita ng katawan ng laka. Ni Pink si Chapin. Kagiwa pulling up. Kagiwa rattles it home. And just, just, you, you, this, if this is the type of game that it's been the entire game, the day, may lalamang tapos sa habol. Now it's Barangay Hinebra's turn to show their character, to fight back here in the fourth. 17 points for Mark to Spark. Under five minutes to go in the fourth. Fingers trying to fish for a foul. Sangalang, no go! Nothing, nothing so far for Ian. Those are good shots. Just not falling for him. Nebra down by five. Helter Brand to Slaughter. Mark really battling for position against Baroka. Slaughter. Pasa muna kay Helter Brand. Shot clock down to 10. It's a two-man game between JJ and Griggs. Helter Brand to Mamaril. Lob pass. Slaughter scores! I love the basic here. It's one thing to be seven feet, but it's another thing to be seven feet and know what to do with the basketball. Nice pass on the part of Barangay Hinebra to get the ball to Slaughter. Nice finish, not a He said you know, Mariwasa Tiles, looking for quality tiles. Trust only Mariwasa on compromising quality. Okay, looking at Sandy Coffee now, they're under duress. They're up by just three, and they still have Baroka and Melton in the backcourt, and the question remains, how long will yeah. Ipcon stay with this kind of backcourt? Doesn't it remind you of game number one in which they had this backcourt or something similar, but then, umabot sa puto na nalamangan na sila ng Barangay Ginebra. Melton, no go, Baroka, took the rebound, and they're the twin towers of San Big Coffee. Nice shot blocker, sina na rin yung rebound. Sila pero rebound, and nag-e-score pa, Baroka with 20 big points. And it seems every time he's sending coffee, he ends up with a victory. Mark Baroja has been in the middle of things. Tapped by Pingris, but uh, referee Edward Aquino says there was arm contact to the part of Sakuragi. Fourth personal against Pingris. And that will put uh, Sandy Coffee at the limit. 3 and 49 to go in game number three. This PLDT Home DSL PBA Philippine Cup presented by the reliable family size production of 
CLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. And that ball bounced on the chest of Mabaril. Melton to Barroca. And Barroca over to Melton for three. Yes, sir! <laughs> Three-point shot brought to you by PLDD Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Para ibabalik mo lang, paano mo naman tatanggalin si Melton din? He was the one that, that, that uh, was responsible for that steal and after that, makes a three-pointer. Now, Stan McCoffey, what a reply to sa Hablo ng Ginebra. Mark Kagiwa misses the three, Barroca with the rebound. So Barroca and Melton are practically doing everything para sa Stan McCoffey. Labang sila ng eight points. Combined eight, nine rebounds between the two of them in the fourth quarter. And Ian Tangalai, he's been having scoring problems all night, but he gets away and it's a 10 point lead for the Mixers with under three minutes to go in game number three. Now, what a the, the thing that we're seeing here from both teams the poise when you are under duress, like you said, umabulang in Ebra, kita naman natin ang sagot ng San Mikko. Refresh sigaw ng bayan, brought by Refresh, karunungan, kabutian, kapayapaan, bukang bibig, salamig. Pero marami pang oras, Miko, right now, down by 10 for Ginebra. That's his 2.56, that's as good as 3 minutes. All you have to do is make stop. Or, ano muna tayo, guys? Head tayo, head, 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 head tayo, big, pass, up screen, okay, pass the ball, down screen, dribble up, and then pick and roll tayo dito sa tag, okay, may shooter tayo dito sa corner ha, may shooter tayo sa corner, okay, let's go, let's go guys, move, move quick, just move, move quick, guys, go, 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 First things first, if, if, if you're Hineba, just gotta score. Gotta score right now and stop this run by on the part of San Miguel. Under three minutes remaining, deep as a game number three. Series is tied at one game apiece. San Miguel one game, one in dramatic fashion. Tapos bumante yung Hinebra, winning game number two by a huge margin. But speaking of huge, Never mind. Don't look at the six points and four rebounds. It's just overall impact by Melton here in the fourth quarter. And you first square inch the impact. <laughs> and uh, let's see how he never responds. They're down by 10. Helter Brand. And you know, because Baroka is, is denying LA, Nagulu na yung play ng Barangay Ginebra. Nice play, nice pass. And Kagiwa with an escape act. So eight points on Inahabul ng Hinebra with two and thirty remaining in the third. Oh, turnover opens up a bit of a window here para sa Barangay Hinebra. Sobrang bilis ni Melton. Hindi na ipasa sa kanya ni Sanggalang and Chris Kagiwa. Just the last two minutes of the fourth. Mark Kagiwa to LA. Tenorio for three. Straight but strong and that hits the foot of Chapin Aguilar. I'm very upset felt that he was fouled there. Not been a good day, Kay Japet. Not even reaching double digits in terms of scoring. It's actually been a tough series for Japet huh, for all three games. Melton. Shot back down to 10. Two minutes to go in game number three. Mark Barroca fires a three. Yes, sir! Point shot brought to you by PLDT Home DSL, the number one home broadband. Ano pa kay Basis and another dagger thrown the way of Barangay Hinebra. And you know, Hinebra fans watching this shot will be reminded of how Barroca won the game for Sandy Coffee in game one. Now, meron siyang clutch shot, plays tough defense, runs the team well. It provides overall energy at 23, 7, 6, and 1. How can Mark Maroka? Your Highness, the <laughs> yeah. Coffee Prince. And, and you know, usually that's the barometer if you go 25 and 5. You're not going to player. And, and that's just on the offensive side. And in this game, he's also probably been the best defender in, in the league. Under two minutes left. Looking good, Parasa. 
Sonic Coffee, the Sonic Super Coffee Mixers. LA will start to play a defense by the Mixers. Slaughter. Pasa kay LA. Kabut kay Mark. Mark Kagiwa, 15 footer. That's good. Mark Kagiwa with 21 points. He's had a good game. Efficient game para kay Mark. Fingers. Shot clock down to 10. Must stop if you're going to get it. BJ Simone, shot clock down to 7. Simone against Delta Brown. BJ fires, top shot, that's good. It seems like the Mixers, they're making all the big shots in the end game. Kanina si Baroka, now it's BJ Simone, and they're on top 95-84. Here's our Photon Thunder Drive brought to you by Photon. Empower your business. And, and it's the guards. Karina Baroka nakita natin. Now PJ Simon. The guards of Sunday Coffee have just outplayed the guards of Barangay Hineva. It's not that they never guards have not played well. It's just the guards of Sunday Coffee have played out of their minds. Okay? LA. Okay? JJ. Jump in. Boskin, Boskin, corner. Sinan natin yung corner. And here's the difference. 47 points para sa mga guardia ng Barangay Ginebra on the side of San Miguel Coffee, 63. A plus 16 in terms of guards. Tap it. Magiwa. In it, 22 to go. Japet wanted to slam it home. But, uh, you, you know, every time Japet wants to go up for a dunk, Pink is just refuses to let him. As in, total refusal. Dalawang bagay nangyayari niya. You don't allow Japet to feel good about himself, and you don't allow the crowd of Barangay Hinebra to get on the back of their team because they just saw a highlight. And abangan who wants to be a millionaire. Susunod na pagkatapos ng PBA. Japet missing the first free throw. Tough night for Japet Aguilar. Second free throw is good. And so it's a 10-point game with a minute and 19 to go in the payoff period. DJ Simon with Belton. JDB, Mike Barocco has been huge. And see uh, Mark Pingris on the floor for the mixer. Stand to shoot. Naturally, Sandy Coffey, di magmamadali. DJ. Step back. Nope. Melton. Melton for three. Rebound. Kagiwa. Is there enough time for Hinebra to bounce back? And Chapit Aguilar scoots in for the layup. So it seems that that play is always there for them if they choose to go to it. But right now, those two points make up Aguilar. Yeah, they've got to find a way to force turnovers now if you're Hinebra. And Mark can pick the ball up. Tapped by Kagiwa. Tend to shoot. Barroca, he's been the man of the moment. Barroca fires. That's good. Mark Barroca, headshot, GG. That's it. He just, he just put this game away with that shot. And that basket will go in. It's a tip in for Greg Slaughter. And San Mid Coffee on the strength of their electrifying backcourt. Will surge ahead in the series, two games to one. You know, you talk about Ginebra, you talk about the Jim Kings, but today when you talk about royalty, you're talking about the coffee prince and the way he plays today. The final score will be 97-89. Sadly, Coffee winning with a with an electrifying end game. Mike Baroka, huge game for him. And among the two games to one, uh, Super Coffee Mixers, here's your final score, 97-89. You know, it, is, it is an eight-point lead, but the entire game was a competitive game, except for that stretch. Nung kumawala, yung San Miguel Coffee Mixers had the latter part of the fourth quarter. Our best player of the game, none other than His Highness, the Coffee Prince, Mark Baroka. I mean, just fantastic numbers. Here in the semifinals, 25 points today with 8 rebounds, 5 assists, 1 steal, 1 block, and shot 9 out of 17 for 10 out of 18 from the field. Uh, and, and he did everything. Defensive side, 
he just was able to disrupt